Good morning, folks. At noon Eastern Time today, the second of our three infomentaries this month releases right here on the channel. Link is below this video. But in this video, we've got space weather, storms, ancient Earth features, and top science news. Let's begin over at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day on our star very quiet. Patchy coronal hole signatures a bit all over the place. Magnetic bright points failing to really produce any sunspots as of yet. No solar flares, and the solar wind is calm as well. Cosmic ray spikes are taking over the detector, but the baseline stream is visible behind it, is quiet, and so is Earth's magnetic field. Folks, the storms in the U.S. last night were not kidding around. Tornadoes, flash flooding, and possibly record hail. NCAR is double-checking this morning to see if Colorado Springs just broke the record hailstone marks. Hail does continue to get worse and worse across the globe. Looking ahead to today and tomorrow, Typhoon fully set to take on Japan over the next 48 hours. Few parts of the country will be spared any effects of the system as it charges northward with the eye expected to cross into the Sea of Japan early tomorrow. A couple interesting things that have been hidden from sight for a while. They say a huge crater can be found in Chesapeake Bay. It would not have been fun to have been there for that one or really have been anywhere in the tectite zone. And the same goes for Australia where massive ancient volcanoes in the center of the country have allegedly been covered up by mud and rock over time. I do have images in my head of a massive wave depositing tons of that material in short order. I'll tell you, the European Space Agency better be careful. Don't they know what happens when you conduct studies that aim to demonstrably display the power of particle forcing over planetary processes? Al Gore starts to sweat. Michael Mann and Michael Moore begin frantically texting each other. Joking aside, this is how you begin to understand planetary electrodynamics, something over 90% absent from climate modeling and processes. Up next, the math says Bose-Einstein condensates are not just a cold phenomena. Relativistic plasma at billions of degrees Kelvin can form these condensate structures as well. And if this is true, it really should rewrite astrophysics and the definition of a black hole structure. Speaking of structure, the intergalactic medium which we don't really see very well, and about which they make guesses upon guesses, is not a random chaotic mess, but it's an electric current sheet. They say these populations of material flatten out like pancakes. Plasma sheets are absolutely called electric fields, which means it is the electric field that feeds galaxies and keeps them from dying. When it comes to plasma cosmology, and that was a little plasma cosmology bit by the way, we may get data from places we don't expect. In a test aimed at one day improving lasers and other particle accelerators, an incredible simulation of material interacting in a plasma bubble that would be traveling the speed of light through space has shown some interesting features. Most interestingly is how one might use their imagination to envision this action on a universal scale given the potential interactions. And yes, I am talking about a static initial condition disrupted into light by an influencing hand. We greatly appreciate your support. We are just a few hours away from my best effort to prove that Einstein was right about Earth's catastrophe cycle and that it's coming again soon. If you make the premiere, I'll get on live to chat with you like I did with the first movie, provided my children aren't sending me up the walls at that moment. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.